What up, people? Mazaku here, right back again for the Boku no Hero episode 9 review. And I should shit on Google. That shit wasn't even popping up. I had to go to the site with episode 6, then skip three episodes, like, do the fucking title thing. Now, I like this episode. First, I'm gonna get, get off my chest what I really didn't fucking like about this episode. And if this kind of acting continue, continues or thoughts continue, I will extremely dislike Deku throughout the rest of the series. Now, Deku confesses to what's his name? The fuck his name? All Might. Sorry, this is my turn in the background. Oh, he's taking the shit. Ew. Fuck. De Deku confesses to All Might that he told Kachan that his power is borrowed power. Now, me personally, I already felt like deep down, it's a bad idea to really tell people that, but All Might says something that I really should have been thinking this entire time. Now that, like, All Might, how he transferred his power to Deku, wasn't through some kind of, um, real ritual. No, he just took his hair out, and he gave it to him. So Deku going around saying that shit to people can essentially make him a target, because they just come and take his pubic hairs and swallow them bitches. And then you got 15 All Mights running around, smashing shit up and f fucking everything up. Then All Might is getting weaker himself. Since he had, oh, oh shit, my fucking back. Since he had given his power away, him himself, he's deteriorating. He, he's he's really heroing on borrowed time in a sense. He's not dying. He's just, that's about, about to be over for him. This whole hero thing. He's getting slower and he's getting weaker. Kind of freaking out what happened. Cause wouldn't make, make any fucking sense for Deku to even be a hero like that when you still got the same motherfucker just running around doing the same shit and you they won't even need you. But he tells him this. Now mind you, when uh All Might tells Deku this, this is a flashback within the episode. The episode itself is in present time. And in present time is Deku the fucking Hot Wheels nigga. The fuck, you know, speed, motherfucker. The engine, engine. I'm calling him engine. And what's the well, leader? His name's Lita. And who, I forgot the bitch name. The, the gravity bitch. They're sitting at lunch, and Deku's bitch ass has the nerve to even have the thought of telling Lita about his borrowed power. This nigga starts to say it, and he's saved by the fucking bell. All Might literally just told you to shut the fuck up. He didn't deserve the fucking power. If this how this motherfucker is going to act throughout the whole uh, series, he doesn't deserve the fucking power. I hope this is just a one-time thing because I really, really like this character. And seeing some fuck shit like that, that's just biting the hand that feeds you, man. He, he asked you not to do He didn't you know, fuck you up or nothing. He said, no, don't do it. Not because of him. Because of your own safety, because they will come after you and they will fuck you up, because you can't control your power yet. And you still, oh, uh, your engine, mm, yeah, uh, I'm low power. <laughs> no, no, motherfucker, no. That's how you get your shit sniped. That's how you get your shit sniped. I don't respect it. I don't respect it at all. Just don't respect with all my fucking Kurt. I don't, I don't fuck with that shit. I don't fuck with that shit. And then it's for your greater good, not his. You selfish piece of shit. So don't do this shit again. But basically, no. Well, I'm gonna get to that later. Basically, um, let's start with the class. First off, I didn't like the beginning of the episode either about all, all the press and the people who came. I guess, I don't know if that's followers. Or, I never liked press in any anime because I feel like they're just a waste of comedic relief time. It's not even comedic at all. It's just, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, we heard all might. Has been, you know, hired here, huh? You know, fuck out of here, bitch. Get out of here. So, they have this thing where they choose, like, a, a class president, and I guess an advisor or some shit like that, or some vice president kind of shit. Kind of went under. And Deku wins. And Deku didn't want to win. Uh, Engine did. So, they didn't even vote for Deku because how Deku reacts in, you know, critical times. Which, you know, he kind of reacts pretty well, as a hero should. They're kind of the only one in that fucking facility right now. We actually really react like that besides the themselves. So he gets that credit for that and he becomes the president. Now, during this whole press thingy, or after it, 
I already knew something was up when the alarm went off. I'm like, okay, this press thing happened like how many minutes ago, and the alarm still went off. So we have uh, a bunch of uh, UA students, you know, running the hallways, panicking, and we have um, Engine. He comes up with a good idea because then we can't really get anywhere. He tells. Um, fucking gravity bits to touch him and make him float. And when he floated, he used his uh, engine fucking hot wheel shit. Go up against the uh, wall, gas pipe, tells everybody, yo, it's just the press. We good. We good. So he calms everything down. This is kind of like foreshadowing that he should really be uh, the class president. And here comes the next scene where I fucking laugh my ass off. Like, first off, Deku didn't want to be president anyway. So he's sitting there up there, like, fucking, like, oh, yo. <laughs> Trying to explain to class too. <laughs> you don't think it's straight bitches? And like, oh, dude. Oh, that's why like the only time when you be scared and shit that I actually was cracking. I was sitting there at the desk crying, my nigga. I was sitting there at the desk crying. This nigga, like, oh, oh, for this class, oh. Vintage Deku, man. Basically, he resigns and he gives um Engine Boy uh the uh, fucking. Whatever this shit called, the presidency. And we uh, do find out Engine Boy is a rich boy. I kind of figured that out. You know, by the way, he spoke <clears throat> kind of like them. And his older brother is also an engine rich boy. He has like 65, 65 sidekicks running in the building for him. So his brother is kind of a boss. I'm going to know who the hell his father is. Since he said it's a whole family if you think. Who the hell was your father? Who's your father, nigga? You were lost, nigga. Like, Let me get my little deluxe bag, but. That's pretty uh, nice to know about him. It's kind of a little bit of development, too, you know. He's come from a line of heroes, and he has, like, I guess a similar power to them. And he could, you know, his goal could be to surpass his brother. He wants to be like his brother. Deku wants to be like All Might. They both dicky, and, but whatever. Hopefully they uh, surpass All Might, and he surpasses his brother, Engineer, whatever his fucking name was. And Deku even knew uh, who his brother was. Deku has the best intellect on these heroes. He has to shut down. In fact, Deku is the real motherfucking deal. He has power and, uh... Intellect. I really think once he mastered his power, nobody's going to be able to touch him. He's a fucking Deku, bitch. Anyway, they go on to the next exercise, and they got this uh, hero called 13 who has like the most rescues, I guess. You know, whether it's a warder or a fire or some shit like that, she has the most rescues. Because although being a hero is great and shit like fucking niggas up, you still have to, you know, focus on rescuing the people. Because I might just came and just start fighting like Superman and destroying everything else, you know, in his path without. Considering the citizens, he'll be a bad hero. He has to be more casted as a villain, in a sense. So, that is actually a, an important, you know, part of being a hero. So, I do respect her, and I do respect that being distributed in this episode of what it means to be a hero. So, that's one of the, uh, the ups about this episode that I did like, people. And, this shit goes 0 to 100 real quick. Because, first off, let's give 13 credit. Because this bitch, my bad. This hoe has a black hole as one of her curves. And she has to learn to control so she don't you know, hurt the people as well. But she can't turn anything like it into dust. So that was like a part of the lesson as well. So I don't know. Her power is crazy. I don't, I don't know. But when we see that, we see a big ass black hole appear behind her. And the villains that we seen in uh, the ending of the last episode, which I forgot to speak about. I do apologize for that. They pop up and like, oh, what coincidence y'all focusing on fucking keeping people safe, so y'all can keep these little fucking rookies safe, about to fuck y'all up, and that's about to happen, and then that's, you know, next episode, so next episode, you know, we get to see, um, the teacher, I forgot his damn name already, the one who takes away the powers, you know, temporarily, but you know what the fuck I'm talking about, the one he be sleeping in that yellow worm jacket and shit, he cool, he cool, he cool, he cool, he cool, he got my Zaku's approval, he's gonna be fighting them, hopefully 13, uh, well, 13 is gonna be protecting the children, but I kinda wanna see, first off, Shout out to Deku. When he seen him, he didn't hesitate. He tried to run like, yo, what's up? So I give him his spots for that. But, um, yeah. Ooh, ooh that. Damn. Hold on. Ooh, them titties jumping. Oh. Yeah, get out that car. That bitch can't even park. Now am I. But, yeah, that's basically it. And it seems like it's about to be all our brawl. I do kind of want to see one of the rookies going in, you know, slap some shit up. 
But I'm gonna be honest, they might just die. So hopefully, no episode is as promising in this one as far as rating overall. I get it's a seven out of ten rating. Pretty good episode. Give a C, C plus, whatever, or just regular C. Thank you guys for watching the episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. I'm out.